Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Stages and characteristics of personality building in the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, the Messenger of Allah is an excellent model for, for those of you who put hope in Allah and last day. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Our Prophet wasallam paid much attention to building the good personality that construct, repair, and builds in accordance with the noble message promoted by Islam. The Almighty Allah said, It was He who brought you into being from the earth and assigned you to develop it. When contemplating the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, one realized that it has identified the stages of building a good personality. The first one of these stages is fostering firm faith. Because belief in Allah implement peace and tranquility in one's soul and put man in the company and under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jundab ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, said, We were with the Prophet, peace be upon him, when we were youth. So we learned faith before we learned Quran. Then we learned Quran and our faith increased thereby. Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, said, Abdullah ibn Abbas said, One day I was riding behind the Prophet ﷺ, and that's very, very important hadith. Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, said, One day I was riding behind the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he said, Oh boy, I will instruct you in some matters. I will instruct you in some matters. Be mindful of Allah. He will preserve you. Safeguard His rights. He will be ever with you. If you ask, ask Allah. Ask Allah alone. And if you need assistance, Supplicate to Allah alone for help. And remember, remember that if all people gather to benefit you, they will never be able to benefit you. If all people gather to benefit you, they will never be able to benefit you. Except that which Allah had for ordained for you. And if all of them gather to harm you, they will not be able to afflict you with anything other than which Allah has been disdained against you. The bends are been lifted and the ink had dried up. The Prophet ﷺ also said, Seven are the person whom Allah would give protection with a shade on the day when there is no shade but that of him. Means in the day of judgment. So we have seven categories here. First, a just ruler. Second, a youth who grow up with the worship of Allah. Third, a person whose heart is attached to the mosque. Fourth, two persons who love and meet each other and depart from each other for the sake of Allah. Fifth, a man whom beautiful women of a high rank seduce for illicit relation. But he rejects this offer by saying, I fear Allah. Sixth, a person who is given charity and conceal it to such an extent that the right hand does not know what the left hand has given. Seventh, a person who remembers Allah in privacy and his eyes shed tears. Our Prophet ﷺ used to build personality on the balance between the needs of the soul and the needs of the body. So we have the balance between the soul and the body. No one side should overwhelm the other. The Almighty Allah said, 
seek the life to come by means of what Allah has granted you. But do not neglect your rightful share in this world. This is a moderation advocate by our pure faith, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mustahi said, we have made you believers into a justly balanced nation. Allah, glory be to him, also said, they are those who are neither wasteful or negligently like when they spend, but keep to a just balance. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As saying, Offer prayer at night and also sleep. Fast for a few days and give up fasting for a few days. Because your body has a right in you. And your eyes has a right in you. And your guest has a right in you. And your wife has a right in you. Among the most important feature of a good character promoted by Islam is adhering to a noble values and sublime morals. Our Prophet wasallam, the most perf perfect man in his faith, among the believer is one whose behavior is a most excellent. Very important hadith. The most perfect man in his faith among the believers is the one whose behavior is the most excellent. The Prophet wasallam also said, have taqwa, or fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wherever you may be, and follow up a bad deed with a good deed, which will wipe it out, and behave well toward the people. It is this good personality that le leads to having a good and coherent society, in which love and cooperation prevail among all of its members. That's why the Prophet ﷺ has said, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, sympathy, are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffer, the whole body responds to it with a wakefulness and fever. Therefore, our Prophet ﷺ has always been interested in, in, in instilling morals and ethics and good values in the soul of the believers from their childhood. Umar ibn Abu Salma, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I was a young boy under the protection of the Messenger of Allah, and once while eating my hand, and once while eating, my hand used to roam every place in the dish. So once while I'm eating, my hand used to roam every place in the dash. He, peace be upon him, said to him, Mention Allah's name. E eat with your right hand and eat from the side next to you. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad wasallam, his companions and followers. Among the most important features of a personality building are responsibility, positiveness, loving work, having diligence in it. Our Prophet has said, adhere to that which is beneficial for you. Keep asking Allah for help and not refrain from it. Once a man asked the Prophet for money. A man asked the Prophet for money. But the Prophet ﷺ answered him saying, Go gather firewood and sell it. And do not let me <clears throat> and do not let me see you for a fortnight. The man went away and gathered firewood and sold it. When he earned ten dirhams, he came to the Prophet ﷺ and bought a garment with some of them and a food with the others. The Messenger ﷺ said, This is better for you then begging should come as a spot in your face on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet's care for positiveness, positive, uh, the Prophet's care for positive was so great, to the extent that he said, if the final hour comes, while you have a shoot of a plant in your hand, and it is possible to plant it before the hour comes, you should plant it. The Prophet ﷺ also said, 
Allah loved that when one of you perform an action to perfect it. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon our master Prophet ﷺ and all of his family and companions. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.